What's going on guys? It's me Pavin. And if you guys are looking to improve your Madden game and want to learn firsthand from someone who's made deep runs in the Madden $750,000 club championship tournament, I'm your guy. I recently just dropped my New York Jets offensive ebook and alongside that is my game plan for additional $10. So my offensive ebook is $20, game plan 30, game plan you get a couple defensive setups and I will be updating both these ebooks, both these game plans as the year goes on. Really great offer. The link will be down in the description. Go check it out, 818madden.com. I know this will make you a better Madden player. Yo, 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 what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another All Madden Mutt video. It's been a, it's been a sh little uh, minute, but you know, I still got this content for you guys today. Today, we are gonna be playing the Falcons Club Series Champion, AKA Mr. Football 88, in the Knights, Pittsburgh Knights, Crew v. Crew 15K matchup. I wanted to do a dedicated series, but honestly, I just didn't play enough games in this Crew v. Crew. And you know, this Crew v. Crew was an awesome thing to be matched up with a couple of friends and, you know, win some money with them. It's a little reminiscent of, you know, the Madden Bowl and uh, a preview kind of of the Madden Bowl. But without further ado, guys, here is this gameplay. Uh, stay to the end and, you know, coming tomorrow or the day after, whenever it may be, I have a, the gameplay versus J Wall, man. And th that's what you guys really want to see. This is a high level gameplay, another high level gameplay on the way. Uh, just watch this gameplay, man. Both of us are running a bunch. A nice high level bunch matchup catch you guys in the video so like most of my gameplays guys this was uh just taken straight from my stream so he's gonna get eight yards early with derrick henry on that nice air truck and mr football i played him a couple times this year i would want to say uh probably five to eight times and you know we kind of go back and forth i'm not gonna lie he's a really good matchup for me as right here we're just trying to man some people up our adjustments get bugged out and i have a terrible user I um, accidentally clicked R3, you know, sometimes when you click R3 in the beginning of the play, it's going to send someone, and this time it just so happened to send my safety or my corner, one or the other on that left side, and, you know, that's just not the move, man, that's really not the move, unless you are blitzing, but still, I'd rather actually blitz than do something like that. Right here, we're going to blitz again, a couple people open, I really thought I was going to get lurky with Derwin James right there, I guess I was a little too close to the line of scrimmage. My honest intentions on that play were to guard that little hitch route as it was open for literally right when he called hike and you know i thought he was going to throw it to him but he ends up throwing it to the slant or the post or whatever that little uh combo is and he runs the same combination again i had two people on george kittle shout out that new george kittle guys i can't wait to drop some content on some new cards um i'm definitely going to try to record some videos i have a new innovative team man it's kind of crazy with all the cards that came out definitely need an updated mutt video on that and man, also on that topic, I can't wait till golden tickets drop, man. I really want a golden ticket quarterback. Let me know what you guys want as a GT. Right here, he's going to hit this nice corner out. And I do have that new Ramsey, but that was, I think, a third or a quarter. And it just had no chance to guard that corner. Right here, man, he is in the red zone. If we could get stingy, maybe that'd be cool. Um, he's going to go to that mesh play setup. And I should have just ran to the running back. Thankfully for us, he ends up dropping it. That's the one bad thing about Derrick Henry is his hands. He doesn't have any of them right here another out route to Kamara Rod Woodson just punches him in the face a big third down and goal right here guys like I said the red zone is the dead zone said it so many times to that point it was kind of cringe I had two vert hooks on that left side he ends up high balling it to Andre J and you know thankfully for him unfortunately for us we aren't able to intercept that pass so guys if you're curious on the receivers the new receivers I'm rocking out with I have Mike Evans as you look on the left side he just sets a nice run block for us Fortunately, he couldn't hold it um, and let us bounce out. But nonetheless, he still held a really nice run block for a solid two to three seconds. Uh, Mike Evans, as you see right here, Keenan Allen, who is my playmaker. And I'm just going to be subbing in Andre Johnson, Julio Jones, Randy Moss, kind of as that third receiver. But in this game, it's going to be Kamara because my opponent is in Giants playbook. He was running 146 on the first play. Just really rather not deal with it when I don't have to. Um, make him run wide as right here we're gonna motion out Kamara and boys I didn't know if you noticed we are in Seattle and we have Keenan Allen wide open from the get and we also had Ke George Kittle for a split second and just kind of missed those reads this year is really just timing based I know we're coming to a close of this year but all of these passes are timing based boys that's right here man I'm gonna set up a nice post route and I have really good pocket on this play we low ball it to Mike Evans and he breaks the tackle he's off to the races it gets hawked down at the two yard line that's why you get yourself a big body that's why you get yourself a mike evans calvin johnson 
even a Andre Johnson or even a Julio, they break tackles. Evans actually uh, is more significantly noticeable in the broken tackles compared to any of the other receivers I just listed. That's right here, guys. We're going to be in the strong wing. Another great reason of Seattle is their red zone. And Derrick Henry's just going to bounce it to the outside. The Derrick Henry's in the chat. Yeah, just a twitchy mode I have, man. I, I'm just so used to saying it by now. So right here, guys, we are going to be on a third and two. And instead of, you know, calling the proper defense, I actually had a bag. I don't know what I was doing, man. Looking back at it, I had a bag for that play. I'm going to rewind it real quick, boys. It's always great to review the film. I ran a cover two, and I was able to get the left side safety in a deep half. But honestly, boys, that was a bag. Like, I should have just ran with the safe, ran with the tight end and guarded him. Um, the corner out was on a 20 flat, and he kind of got back there. Would have been a little tough of a throw, and I'm just kind of disappointed that I gave that up looking back at it. Um, when, I was, when I was playing the game, for whatever reason, I don't know why, I thought the corner out was just completely wide open. Now looking back on it, I'm kind of glad I watched this. And, uh, you know, next time I'll just run with the tight end. I know everyone should run at the tight end, even if the corner out was open. But, you know, that adjustment really did play in my favor. I just one last adjustment I would have had was the deep half. And it would have been, you know, I'm not saying it wouldn't have been a uh, good gain or touchdown. But I would have, I would have think that, you know, the deep half would play it much better than just no zone there. It's right here, boys. We're just going to playmaker this Keenan Allen up. And that's a Cal Berkeley bear. Shout my bears. Uh, huge Cal Berkeley fan. College that Keenan Allen went to. And yeah, man, I I'm thinking this is like the only time you're going to see Keenan Allen gameplay, man. Uh, he is a dog. 602. Great route running. You don't, that's not even a question. He could break a tackle. He's 211 pounds. Um, and, you know, he's a route runner. So, I mean, it's a lot of great things about Keenan Allen. That's right here. We're just going to easily throw this up to Kittle. Air truck. And that's an another great thing about kittle vernon was cool and all they both had the same speed but kittle could air truck man i love me some air truck it's right here boys we are gonna run z spot playmaker backwards and keenan allen making moves for us get hit out of bounds thankfully it was out of bounds just in case of a fumble or anything like that and man i'm cooking up some route combos now this is clear out short side positive if you like that route combo um you know i i'm gonna have the tight end open if he uses it and you know due to the playmaker he has to use it one or the other and I make the right read with the playmaker once more. Keenan Allen right here, man. I'm just trying to run the ball a little bit. Uh, shout out my bo dude, Bobby V, for that run. We all know that. But unfortunately for us, Mr. Football was ready for any type of runs like that. He was in the LCQ, so I'm sure he labbed up a lot of run D uh, gap shoots. That, that type of stuff is actually um, very important. I got to get back on mine and get in practice mode maybe and just pr practice, you know, how to shoot base, how to shoot inside zone, how to shoot um you know trap all those different type of runs you know they're not the greatest runs they're not going to pop off every time but it is nice to have those you know uh gap shoots just in case and right there at r1 for a split second with the low ball just missed the read man right here man my opponent is running the meta and a lot of people i don't know if you guys have played it uh they like to get to you to these third downs and run one four six myself included right there we caught him on justin smith and george kittle beautiful rack animation is able to get us to the two yard line i really really do wish i was able to have run justin smith because i be but i believe that that would have been a touchdown if i had just you know broken that tackle from slay and here's why i wish i had done that it's right here i don't let the tight end set he shoots my run i fumble thankfully thankfully we pick it up but i mean just to go from the two to the six now i don't understand why i didn't run fullback dive once more lesson learned i will run fullback dive next time or even sneak uh, to run a dive like that was pretty dumb um, that dive is unshootable but I just messed it up the snap of it and right here man we're just gonna run it's so difficult to score man in the red zone we're just gonna run and pray we get some good blocking it's right there we actually don't get good blocking but Kamara does fight for us a little bit it's right here man we're gonna kick three sucks to kick three but it is what it is hopefully we go into half of the 10 10 game she's right here man just gonna man up some people try to get a justy with it an awful user and slay just takes an awful pursuit angle stay clicked on boys it's not worth it to click off um the computer just dumps out and i i you know that was good stick work but in reality it should have been tackled in bounds and i don't know what was going on man but i was not getting any type of pressure or sheds in this game it's right here we're just trying to run a little bit of zone coverage man up some people and once more we have a bad bad user just went to guard the uh, corner route because it was wide open off the gate 
the drag was wide open, you know. Uh, he could have definitely gotten into field goal range off that, but unfortunately for us, we're not able to pick him off due to him choosing the wrong read. Uh, you know, I'm not too mad about that because that's a tough interception. At least he didn't catch it. It's right here. We're going to get back and slay. This hurts right here. Uh, usually you could click on, get that diving tackle. Slay was so tired that he wasn't even able to make the tackle. Um, pretty much him almost in field goal range. I definitely should have called the timeout. As we see, my players are dead tired. Right here, man. I'm in one four six. If he runs, he runs. You know, it's cool with me. Do y'all think that's a pick six, chat? Ah, I asked my friends. They said it was. Uh, if I would have just held Y, it would have been a pick. But I didn't hold Y. I just didn't pick it off. I don't know why. I didn't think I could get there. But in reality, my boys told me that I was able to. Let me know if I should have. If I was able to pick that off, guys. And right here, man. We're just trying to sell out to the run, get a good gap shoot, and that's what we do. But he's still on the 44 yard line man this is gonna be crazy just wait one second guys if you don't have acres go buy him literally right now he can make 44 yard field goals not 44 yard field goals he can make it make it from the 44 yard line 60 plus yard field goals go buy acres please right here guys the opponent is in match but the thing is i'm in the middle of the field so i'm looking right clear out is a bomb and I just unfortunately bullet passed because I was in the middle of the field. Normally, boys, if I'm, you know, just playing in the hash, I would have just lobbed it over the top. I probably still could have done that, lobbed it to the right outside sideline. But I just played it very dumb. It was the first game of the day, a new playbook. Um, you know, I just got to see some things. And, you know, in the future, I know to, you know, first of all, get on a hash. And second of all... Uh, you know, either lob that or pass lead outside. Don't just straight bullet it. So, you know, that was potentially a big game for us. And now we just, you know, interception. He's in field goal range and he doesn't even care about a field goal. He just bullets that up the seam. I really think, I thought, you know, Barry Wood could have played it better, but Kittle is just so fast that, you know, those cover three beaters are insane now. It's right here, guys. We run this nice corner out rollout dot to Mike Evans. Tatted up Mike, man. He looks like a beast with those tats on. He's just a monster. Uh, cop yourself a Mike Evans if you like. I know there's so many new receiver options. Like Tyree Kill is a good one for the playmaker. Andre Johnson, Julio. The list it goes on and on and on. I'm still going to try to figure out which trio I like the best. Or even duo if they are running 146. Um, it's going to take some time. But hopefully I have my trio slash duo set for the bowl. It's right here. It's crunch time, man. Uh, this game definitely should not be a 10-point game. I really sold the bag before half. And right here, we're going to just wait a little bit, throw a corner route dot to Mike Evans. And that is one thing I noticed about Mike Evans, boys, is that he gets his feet in bounds. I made a tweet a little, back, a little while ago uh, talking about how possession catches on the sideline are very whack. Or just in general, the possession catches are just kind of just unfortunate. Um, but I did notice out of Mike Evans that he holds on to a lot of passes. It's right here. We low-key had that post right off the cut. I'm going to rewind this real quick, boys. As you see, they had a small window to Camara, boys, right here. Um, I really believe I could have thrown it right there. And, you know, his user was somewhat there, but I have Brett Favre. I could have just passed it up. Gunslinger. Um, and, you know, in reality, in, 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 in the future, sorry, I can't talk in the future. I will get that pass there. To this point, man, I felt like I played playing really good offense. Not so great defense. I'll admit it. I'll admit it. We get hit with one bomb. But right here, man, this is a backbreaker. Uh, wide open pass to Mike Evans. I shouldn't have highballed it maybe now that I think about it. That's on me. I'll throw it next time just straight up. But I really just wanted to be safe. There's this animation, boys. I know you've seen it. When you highball it, they just catch it and they get this warp animation. And that's the safest animation. They catch it 100% of the time. Uh, I just wanted to trigger that animation and you know I just was unfortunately not able to even get that pass on uh, accurate and this is another unfortunate moment for us I 100% did not want to do this and that what I was talking about is I wanted a motion block Camara boys I want 100% motion block Camara and that would have been an easy playmaker dot to uh, Keenan Allen up this up the seam I guess you could say for a touchdown he ran cover two there's no you know middle zones and, you know, due to Kamara being on a route, a playmaker to him instead. So just two dumb mistakes. One high balling open dot. Another being, you know, not motion snapping correctly. Um, I really wanted Kamara to block just in case he blitzed. And he ended up, you know, being on the out route. He be, ended up being playmaker. And due to that, I was it costed another seven points. And, you know, realistically, I don't know what you guys want to say the score is for this game. But we are down seven. 
we got to try to get a stop. There's plenty of time left. It's right here, boys. Second and five. My opponent ran the ball on the first play, and he decides to run it again on the second. That little spin move gave him, you know, two to three yards. It's cool, but I really wanted to tackle him for a loss. It's right here, boys. He's going to make a safe read and dump it down. Oh, man, I wish I would have manned up Ramsey or did a cloud or something. Uh, he would have definitely made a play with that acrobat. But just a nice, safe read, and, you know, it's systematic. Mr. Football is very systematic with the way he plays. Um, for me, I feel like there's a lot of finesse and freestyle. I, I could play systematic at times, but I feel like everyone has seen the system so many times. Um, you know, that I like to put my own, you know, little... Uh, What's it called on it? You know, little sprinkles in it. It's right there. He's going to hit us with a Julio Jones playmaker dot. I sent the heat. No results. And I'm going to rewind this real quick, boys. I want to see something. I'm thinking to myself, boys, was the flood route bagged? And I'm thinking I low-key had it bagged. I was looking off to the side. I'm thinking I low-key had it bagged, and I could have just went to the playmaker myself. But we'll never know. In the future, I'll, you know, mess around with some adjustments. Because that right there was not the move to just leave Julio wide open. And right here, I'm kind of in this uh, phase where I'm just trying to rage blitz, boys. Trying to get a stop. Trying to sack him out of field goal range. And right here, he's going to run the ball. Safe call. We hit him. He actually hits us first. And then we hit him. Shout out to Derrick Henry. He's right here, man. We get in over G for a play because he's in bunch tight end. And that's not the best read. Um, I know in reality he caught it, breaks a tackle, but in reality, boys, that looked like a really dangerous throw. I really do wish I had, you know, some type of mid-zone KO or even 100% uh, acrobat on Eric Berry. They would have potentially made a play, but nonetheless, it's still a safe read, I guess you could say. Um, he kind of undercut the drag, breaks a tackle, which always helps out. And right here, we're in over G. We're just trying to get a stop, man, one way or another. He's been cooking me up in wide all game. Uh, haven't been able to get a stop. And right here, we get a little lucky, but in reality, it doesn't matter. He ends up catching it. Great dot. And he, like I said, he had the system ready. He had the play ready for my blitz. In reality, I should have maybe ran man. I should have maybe probably sent, you know, three to four people. Um, but, you know, I've, I've been blitzing all day, and he's been used to it, and he's been calling the proper plays, and that's really what it comes down to in Madden. That's right here, man. I'm expecting some runs. Uh, that's half the reason I'm in overgy. But he ends up hitting us with a pass. He waited so long to make that read. It could have been super dangerous for him. Could have maybe got a pick. Uh, you know, that's really all that could have happened out of that. He waited so long. Obviously, the throw out of sack, it probably was a touchdown. But, you know, due to that, I, I'm thinking, man, if I was in that position to get a pick, I would have got the pick. Um, but, you know, here we go. Flipping up the adjustments, a little vert hook to guard those, you know, hitches and flats and all that. And he hits a nice seam pass that wouldn't have been caught, man. But we just hit him a little too early. Um, maybe it would have been caught. He got the nice animation, but then again, I do have Ronnie Law on Kamara, and you will never know. That's right here. He's gonna crib a power roll to the right side. He starts to celebrate, and we are down bad, boys. We are down super bad. And I swear, the score doesn't indicate what the game has been like. One bad play on the uh, interception, just a terrible read on something that was open. Um, and you know, for me, I would haven't been able to get a stop. Kudos to him on offense. He's been playing really, really well. And, you know, me getting held the red zone, uh, fuel goes twice, always hurts. That's right here, man. We're just trying to go for some cover three bombs. He gets some fluky disengages. I had Kittle open. Clowney picks it up, celebrates again. That hurts. GG's a Mr. Football. We're going to get out and out of here. We end up getting flooded. Not the best game for us, but I swear, man, I played really, really well, um, you know, and in, in compared to the score, how it looked like. So, boys. Tune into the next gameplay. We're going to play J-Wall, get my rematch back, see if we could play better than what we just played like. It happens, man. You got to post your wins, your losses in order to become a boss. Uh, I want to say bosses, but it, it, it wouldn't have made sense. So, you know, to become a boss, you need to win and you need those losses. So we'll catch you in the next video, man. Let's see if we play better this time. I'm definitely uh, hyped to do that recording. Stay tuned. Hit that like, comment, subscribe, all those good things. A lot of great content on the way. Wish me luck for the bowl, boys. I'll make some videos on that very, very soon. Peace.